Okay guys, so I used the magnet for a bit and when you don't put the magnet on or you don't put it on right um, so that it seals down the sunroof, well, what happens? Well, the truck floods like crazy. So right now I'm doing a bunch of water mitigation, uh, pull the seal stri strips up. And as you can see, this is still like soaking wet. So uh, I've got to uh, hit that with shop back some more. Um, I have dropped the panel here because I'm going to have to go ahead and um, drill out that grommet everybody's talking about. Really did not want to do that, but this is where we are. So uh, one little thing also that I want to make note, if, you, if it soaks really bad, uh, you'll want to pull this panel off right here because right up under your headliner right here, there's like a piece of uh, like sponge and you'll want to take your shop vac or something and soak the water out of that. But anyway, what I've done, like I said, is I've dropped this down. Um, I did that by removing two screws that were where the um, hood release latch goes. And then I just carefully pulled it off. Um, to locate the grommet, which I have actually already pulled out, is it's not easy task. I mean, fortunately, I have smaller hands. Uh, but just to give you an idea where the thing is, um, so you, you see... Uh, where you have your headlights and stuff so you come in here and then you'll want to look I don't even know if I can get the, the camera up under here hang up bear with me one second let's see yeah I can't honestly guys I can't really even get it in here to show you but it's on the firewall essentially it's right if you go straight up through here behind that piece there and you reach up under there you're gonna see the drain line and the drain line will run right into the firewall so once you're you get up under there and you maneuver yourself um, and you're able to get that then you're gonna see your grommet and it is gonna look like this it's stuck in the firewall the line runs in here the drain line pulled the thing out now, when I pulled it out, it was seriously uh, crapped up with stuff. Um, went in the house to get the drill. Naturally, my drill, the battery was dead on my freaking battery pack. So, what I ended up doing is I got a little razor knife that I have here. I pulled it out about three blades worth. And then I carefully stuck that in there. And I just gently twisted and cut away the um, the inside of this grommet which this thing is that's the problem is it catches um, a whole bunch of debris and backs it up so what I did after I cut it away is then I took the, the drill bit and I went ahead and just stuck that in there and just twisted it a few times to smooth it out because it did have some rough edges um, but it looks pretty good now so I'm getting ready to reconnect it um, whew, man you guys with bigger hands, I feel bad for you. I don't know, maybe if you're a mechanic or you're not a hobbyist. I mean, I'm just a hobbyist. So um, you guys might find an easier way to do this. But like I said, drop that panel there. Go straight in. And then you're going to have to go up behind this piece up here. And it's going to be on the firewall. You'll see the line running into it. It's uh, the the drain line is black, um, and it like I said, it will run right into this. And um, then you'll just pull this whole piece out. Make sure when you in reinsert this that this notched piece that goes into the firewall, and this which should be inside the compartment. But for now, that's it. And this thing's all you know what it looks like when they're all put back together so I'm not gonna bore you with all those but that's I'm thinking the easiest way to do it I've watched a ton of different videos from people and I was like yeah no I'm just <laughs> I'm gonna try this so hopefully this works for you guys but like I said uh, if you think the vehicle gets really soaked I would recommend pulling out the, um, the seal plates and going ahead and sucking all this up because of all that water I mean that's a lot of water and just soaking from the top, you're uh, sucking from the top, you're not going to get all that up. And then you're going to have probably mold issues. So <clears throat> that's that. 
Um, hope this is helpful. I've been trying to avoid it, but it was inevitable. So, all right, guys, take it easy.